Hello, hello, you're very welcome back to Unstable TV. So you're joining us on a travel vlog. So if it, this is, uh, you're, uh, of course, <laughs> the time on the channel, uh, do not forget to. Like, subscribe, comment, share, hit the bell. And if you're back with us again, bye. So we traveled the Bruges. We have wanted to go there for a long time. Danielle was amazing and absolutely surprised the pants off me, were So shout out to Danielle and that. Oh, there's Danielle, shout out to Danielle. Hi, shout out to me. <laughs> so Danielle, what did we do? So first of all, yes, we went to Bruges at the start of the year and the vlogs are only coming out now, but that's fine. That's, that's okay, fine. take your that's time. Fine. So we're going to show you a room tour, a little bit about Bruges that we came across. But mostly this first vlog is going to be about what we ate and what we drank in Bruges. Now we will have other videos about other stuff that we did and more, more what, tourist sites. But this everyone, everyone needs to know what food and drink places. It's very important when you go to Bruges. That's what runs on this one. And of course, we want to show what you get when you get a room there as well. Absolutely. Now, this room was really cool because Danielle actually managed to get it for us right next to the tower, the famous Bruges Tower, the Bell Ooh. Tower. The best part about it was you could hear it before you went to sleep. And don't worry, you'll hear this all throughout all the lovely vlogs here because it was playing every hour. Oh dear. For about 10 minutes. So let's go with us now. Weekend in Bruges Part 1. Room tour. Room tour. Room tour. <laughs> room tour. <laughs> so here's our lovely room in Bruges. So it's bigger than the rooms we usually get. Don't mind the water bottle on the floor. So yeah, nice double bed. We have sockets and storage, and sockets and storage over here. A hair dryer was a hair dryer good? Yeah, it warm clothes as well. <laughs> the hair dryer was good. Oh, desk thing. Desk thing. With glasses and towels. With a featured map of Bruges. Map of Bruges and stuff to do. Very nice. And we have a TV in case we wanted to watch anything. <coughs> we didn't, but it was there. There's also no remote. So. Yeah. Oh, there's a remote. Oh, there is, yeah. We found it. Remote. And we have the wardrobe space. Very nice, very nice, oh, very nice. We. We have as the bathroom. Here's where the magic happens. Here's where the magic happens. That's where the magic gets flushed away. So, yep. Yeah. There's the, the necessities. Hello. It's us. All the toiletries we need. We have a towel. Don't mind that. <laughs> My sink. Oh my god, it works. And then a big shower. James is going to demonstrate the shower. <laughs> Lovely. So, yeah, nice. Good stuff. Definitely. A, a sleepable room. Sleepable room, good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that, that is the room. Bit of an upgrade from what we usually get because we usually stay in basements. Yeah. Or bins. <laughs> or bins, yeah. Yeah. So this was nice. And it's right outside. The bell tower is right outside. So we're literally smack bang in the middle of everything. It's right there. We'll show you when we get out. Ooh. Yeah, it's um, there. There's no window, so you can't see. Yeah. Okay. Well, there's the bathroom window, but you can't see anything. Yeah. It's just basically all vents and stuff. Yeah. So we thought it was going to be a view of the bell tower. But at least mm -hmm. we can hear you can. can you hear that? Can you hear the bell tone? <laughs> so, yep, yeah, that's the room tone. Stay tuned and see what we do. Here's what we can see from right outside the hotel. Hello everyone, so we're in Bruges, it's in Belgium. Mm. We're at the bell tower, it's right there, look, there it is right look there. Look at that. Who says you can't get a good backdrop for a Troy? Exactly. So, yeah, we're back away again, trying Fanta again. Because yeah. why not? We've done the last one on the Troy. Shout out to the East <laughs> Um So we decided, why not? We'll just keep going with the Fanta Troys when we're away. Yeah, we found another one that we haven't tried before. So... So, I can't wait to talk to you. It is... I'm trying to like move a little bit. It's Fanta, Mango and Dragon Fruit. 
there was literally no cars for the last half an hour when we were walking around here. Spicy. Oh, that smells phenomenal. Ooh. Right, let's get this up close and personal. Slash it back. <sighs> it's worse than stuff. That's phenomenal. That's nice, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> I shouldn't have down that. Oh my god, that's amazing. Isn't it? I can't even tell you what it tastes like. Mango and dragon fruit, I'm assuming. Oh, well, that is. I am. I'm gonna say it. You're gonna be controversial here. Go on. I think it's better than Fanta Lemon. Wow, Fanta lemon, it's not like literally your favourite one. Fanta, give us a pray. Exactly, Fanta shout out, that's a 10 out of 10. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What would you give them? Oh, that's a 10 out of 10 all It day. is, it's a yeah. very, very nice Fanta. Very tasty, and it kind of tastes like just real fruit juice. Yeah. Nice. Went the sugar. Hey. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Go on down. Chug, 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 chug. If I chug it, I'll get sick. I can't even have a shot. No. That for you. Yeah. Chug, 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 chug. Done. <laughs> so, shout out to uh, some tourists that came up and took the picture of us in front of this. We were arguing over trying to get the best lighting, and she killed it. Yeah, she did. We'll throw the photos in this. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas. We're now at the Historian Museum of Bruges. Hello. Apparently it's the Golden Age. Look at that big love heart. So what do you think we'll be doing this tomorrow? Uh, yeah, might be. We'll see. Yeah. Is the sugar kicking in? No. Here's a nice replica of the bell tower. Look at this. This is really amazing and it's just outside it too. And that's where we're going to go. And it's right there. Oh. I don't remember all the field songs in the movie, do you? No, not really. <laughs> movie quote part one. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hello. Hello. Have you been to the top of this area? Yeah, yeah. It's rubbish. Why? Well, it's all windy stairs, you know. I'm, I'm not being funny or anything, but you want to come up there. Why not? Well... This is the fanciest McDonald's that we have ever seen in our whole entire lives. What is this? So I started with these bacon cheese fries. Oh, look at these. They don't look great. And they also don't taste great. They just taste like Burger King's one. So we got the bacon and cheese chips here from the Brewers McDonald's. Get that down the pipe. Taste. Bit of a laugh. Oh, they're amazing. So here we have the bear. You can't do this in Ireland even though we're in Europe. But you can get bear in the McDonald's which is crazy. So we have to try the local bear. So we're going to share this one. So here's the crack open. Oh yeah. Have to get that smell test in though. Ooh, okay, let's get this in the cup. Go, 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 Cheers. Me and Danielle tasting this together. Here we go, down the hatch. I was not feeling that beer at all. That is like, no, no. My turn to taste the beer. I'm pretending to be a beer connoisseur here and knowing exactly what I'm talking about. But I'm getting hints of beer. Ooh, feast! Ugh. I'm trying James's chili chicken burger. As you can see, there's a bite out of it already. <laughs> so it wasn't the greatest. It was fine. It wasn't really spicy or chili or anything like that. So it was just kind of a box standard burger. Here is the Maestro burger. It's burger, lettuce, tomatoes, bacon, onions. I'm not sure what the sauce was on it, but yeah, it was really, really nice. And it was really big, and I didn't know how to eat it because I wanted a knife and fork. 
struggling to pick the burger up but here we go looks so good and it tastes so good as well the beef on the meat over there is just so 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 much nicer than it is in ireland i'm confused as the fact as to why it is so much nicer 10 out of 10. So we got us that chili chicken burger. Need something with a bit of spice after kicking that bear down the hatch. So here we go. The lettuce is just going everywhere. Let's get that. Mmm. Mm, okay. Oh, let's. Oh, what was that? Oh, what was that? Oh, that has a kick. Oh, yeah, that's nice on the throat now. You can really feel that going down. So the next one up we have the Maestro Spicy Santiago. Now I always were slagging people for getting the signature menu and I did it here in Brush. You have to do it while you're away. So look at this big boy taking it out. Like could you put any more lettuce on it? Yeah, I'm a rabbit over here. Let's taste this. Oh look, it's so good. I shot all over my beard as well. Oh yeah, you, can, you just know that's hitting them intestines good. Oh, I'm going in for that second and the third boy. We're not leaving until half that burger is gone. Oh yeah, 10 out of 10. So because we love all you foodies, we just want to show you what was going on in the Bruges McDonald's menu. Just want to show you what it's like in the European McDonald's. This will be something we'll be doing when we're away, showing you guys the menus or what we got. But look at that, they have nine chicken wings, chicken wings in the McDonald's. You don't have that over here. We need that. Ireland, sort yourself out. Here's the salads. We're not having that today. We just got excited about the chicken wings. Let's keep having a look here. Check this out. What have they got in the drinks? Oh, what's down here? Oh, what's over there? We're going back. Let's check the cold drinks real quick. What have we got going on? Yeah, of course. There's the bear. Look, that's the one we got. That's the Jubilee. It's only two euro seventy cent. That is a cheap bear. Ireland has absolutely demolished us in drink prices. So we probably got a load of these. We're not going to tell you how many we had because we're sober over here. LOL. So this is just basically, I just want to show you all around the menu for when you're planning your brewers trip because obviously you're going to go after watching this. I am anyway. Well, I, I was there, but I, I'm going to go again. Don't worry, guys. You can have all your business meetings upstairs too. How random is this? Hotel breakfast. So I started off with some scrambled eggs and bacon and James had scrambled eggs, bacon and just an egg. We had some coffees and a croissant. So here's the hotel breakfast, nice little chucky pastries, there's some Lotus Biscoff if you're into that and look at all that ham and cheese on that fruit bowl, now I had a lot of this, I ate and ate because me and Danielle absolutely walked the trousers off everywhere. Last day I started off with some meats and cheeses and some salmon and brown bread which was phenomenal. Then I had some croissants and bread as well. Bo got some orange juice and some coffees. James had loads of eggs and croissants and loads of fruit. Hot chocolates. We stopped at a highly recommended hot chocolate spot and look at all these amazing stuff they already had in the window. Here's a step by step on how to make your hot chocolates too. Ooh, fancy. And look at all look at this, just a selection of chocolates you have here to make your hot chocolate it's just insane mm. oh, yeah. with normal belgian fashion we were like children in candy stores look at all this you can put into your hot chocolate now that just absolutely annihilate the flavor into absolute sweet taste and goodness so there's plenty of chocolates and plenty of souvenirs to get in this shop now we were blown away when we walked in um of course, being touristy tourists, we were like, we want to eat everything here. So, we got some hot chocolates. What flavour do you got? What do you got? I got chocolate orange. So, we're just waiting for it to melt into the cup and then we'll see how it tastes. I got just normal one and we're going to taste each of them and see because we. Why not? Yeah. Do you want to taste yours first? Yeah. You can really get the orange in that, like that is strong. Give it an 8 out of 10 actually for, for flavour. Very nice. So I'm going to taste mine. Yeah. Mm, yum yum. Well, I just got the normal milk chocolate. Ooh, that's really good. I don't usually like 
Our chocolates are the you know what the chocolate chunks? That's what these are. And you can like pick which chocolate chunks you want. This is actually really good. I'd probably give this about a seven. Yeah. Can I swap and taste? Yeah. Swap. <laughs> Yeah, it is. Okay, isn't it? Yeah, it does. What would you give it? Oh, I have to taste oh, the orange one. <laughs> sorry, I'm just swapping already. <laughs> um, I get that. Like even that's ten out of ten. Yeah. Yeah. So. Mm. Right, let's taste the orange one. Oh, that's ten out of ten. It tastes like proper orange peels, which is amazing. So it tastes like real orange, not like the fake one. <laughs> ten out of ten. <laughs> yeah. That's true. Very, very nice hot chocolate too. Yeah. We'll be trying more, probably. Yeah, we'll definitely be getting a few more before we go. Absolutely. Tune and light and <laughs> Local beers. Trying the local beer. Let's see how it is. Foam. Foam, yeah. So this is Duval Bruises Local. Let's mm -hmm. see how it is. No, not for me. <laughs> Do you want to go ahead, Daniel? Cheers. <laughs> oh, oh my god, why does it taste like a smoke? <laughs> oh my god, it literally tastes like a... It tastes like an ashtray. Out of 10? None. Minus. Minus. Just now. Absolutely not. <laughs> Duval, not today. With the green logo. Let's give her a try. That's a uh, some amount of foam. That's a foamy boy. <laughs> All right, it smells good. Let's see. All right, has a bit more citrusy. It's not as bad as the other. One. What do you think? No. 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 They're not great. What would you give her? A tail. Oh, oh I was about to say tail as well. It's not. The flavour is better. It's not smoke. But it's not nice. <laughs> yeah. Duval is not for us. Yeah. Sorry, Duval. Uh, I got something called trifle or something. I think. Yeah, it's on the glass there. Oh, yeah, that one. <laughs> That's what I got. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> oh my god. Why does it taste like stout? Baza. It tastes like. It tastes like if Guinness was a beer. Like fizzy Guinness. Oh. Yeah. That's not okay. But we paid for someone drinking. Let's see. <laughs> oh, I see what you mean. Like, that's. What's yours called? Mine is called a Brugie Zot. Brugie Zot? Mm. It has a little jester logo. I liked it because I'm a fan. Um, no! <laughs> right? Hey, taste. It's not right, it's not. Yeah? Yeah, I mean. Grand? Yeah. Can't be any worse than the one I just tasted. Yeah, it's just, just a beer. It's not bad. Yeah. yeah. So you want one out of ten? Zero. I'm not going to finish it though. Because you're paying for it? Yep. Zero one out of ten. My one out of ten. I'll say a six because it's just a beer that smelled. Yeah, I would have given it a five. It was kind of just bog standard beer. Yeah. What, what would you give the one I had again? Zero. Zero, yeah. Sorry. Undrinkable. But I'm going to drink it. Yeah. <laughs> So that's our taste test. <laughs> We're gonna get drunk now. See you later. We tried some Jack Daniels lemonade in the airport. Ooh. Yeah, that's my sound effects for the opening of the can. Look at this, a nice little cheeky sip in the airport. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. Ooh, oh, the lemon. Oh, ow, ow. What the? Oh, that lemon kicked. Woof. Time for me to take a big sip. And it was actually 
so nice. I wasn't actually expecting it to be that nice, but I would definitely get it again. Of course, when in Belgium, you gotta get the waffles, and we went with waffles and ice cream and coffee. There's Danielle taking the other perspective. Look at her. And then we're dipping the waffle in the coffee. Oh, that was just amazing. Let's get that down the... Ooh, mm, get that down the hatch. So here's another shot of this. It could not just show you one side of this. You need to see it all. This was just flavor upon flavor. We left wholly content after this. So that was all our taste tests and tries and showing you all the wonderful foods and drinks and beverages and alcohols and hot chocolates and whatever else we tried in Bruges. It's in Belgium. Lots you know, to try. Lots to see. Mm -hmm. And it's all great. You and me. <laughs> There's a little bump, yes. Yeah. So keep your eye out for part two and we'll show you the lovely tour of the bell tower. So bear in mind guys, there will be more vlogs coming and we have another travel vlog after this. We're trying to get that started because I know you guys have heard us saying a lot throughout our videos. Mm -hmm. But here we are. So let's explore together. Absolutely. And we'll see you in part two. There we go. Let's do something. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>